Seattle may be growing in a good or bad way, depending on your viewpoint. Also rising, tensions. The rhetoric that really uh, came to fruition during the 2016 elections has influenced the whole country. Nassif Fulati is the executive director of the Council on American Islamic Relations in Washington State, and he's heard the complaints, hate-based attacks on race, gender, or religion. Attacks on mosques, whether they be letters, hateful letters. It is no illusion, according to a Seattle City Auditor, assaults with a hate element up more than 500 percent since 2012, incidents with a racial bias up more than 400 percent. Many of the reported crimes happening near high traffic and racially diverse neighborhoods. It can't simply be explained away by, um, by better reporting. Um, there's actually something going on. Today, Council Member Lisa Herbold formally introduced legislation to strengthen city code on misdemeanors, allowing stricter penalties for those who commit such a crime. This is about setting um, a set of expectations for the public, both the public who live here in the city, but also people who come to our city as well. The legislation will likely be approved Monday which Fulati believes is a positive effort. So when that enthusiasm dies down, then I would be concerned. To make hate homeless. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.